hello everyone today i just have a quick empties video featuring these products so let's just get right into it Okay. So the first one is a bit of a boring one, but I'm pretty sure at this point all of us have used a bottle of the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. This was actually the first micellar water that I had used and it is definitely a handy little product to have on your shelf. So the way I use micellar water, I do not usually use it to remove all of the makeup off my face. I usually just use it to kind of remove the hairline, my neck, and then sometimes use it to kind of touch up makeup and things. So I don't generally use it for all over my face. Although I have used it a few times when I was a little bit lazy. In that instance, it did still remove makeup pretty well. I would not use it as a daily cleanser, especially on my eyes and lips. Eyes particularly because I don't want to keep rubbing with a cotton pad I know you're supposed to soak blah 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 but I still find that it does need a little bit of rubbing of the cotton pad to remove the makeup so I would rather still use like a cleansing oil or balm instead of this but for how I use it it is a perfectly fine and the Garnier one is definitely one of the cheaper ones on the market I often only buy it when it's like half price which when it's half price it's literally like cheapest chips I definitely really liked the kind of like plain one right now i am trying out whoops right now i am trying out the milky version which i'm a little bit uh, about because as you can see it is quite thick this one for the price only seven ingredients good for sensitive skin i don't have anything to compare it with but it definitely kind of blew me away in the sense of a handy little micellar water so if you haven't tried it already i guess try it but i'm pretty sure you have so on to the next product. Next one is definitely one that a lot of people have an opinion on and it is the Misha Time Revolution. <laughs> The Misha Time Revolution, the first treatment essence. It is a cult favorite and it is seen everywhere. It is also compared a lot to the SK2 essence. 90% fermented yeast extract that comes from barley. It also has niacinamide to brighten and adenosine to soothe and it is also anti-aging. It is a good product. It hydrates, it plumps, it helps with skin texture, gives you like a brightened look and all of that. But I still like the BRTC one better. I have mentioned the BRTC essence. Ooh, that sound. Okay. Really can't do with the like chalkboard on the nail sound. And So I have mentioned many times in the past the BRTC first essence. I just don't think this one has as much effect as that one. And I know not as many people have tried the BRTC. So it might be hard to argue. But I felt like the other one just did more of a difference to my skin. Definitely helped with my skin texture and helped retain moisture more. This one it did help like the kind of hydrate, plumping, that side of it. But I don't think it necessarily helped to retain moisture. And I hydration as much as the other one although there was one little thing i did i was actually wearing it before my toner which i thought essence was your like first because it was like the first which later on i found out you're supposed to put it on after your toner so maybe that made a difference which is a shame but i guess if i was given the opportunity to do it again i would probably um use this one again it was still a really good one but it may not be the holy grail of essences for me next is the <laughs> I think you guys all know this one by now. The Asahi Suhada Shizuka Placenta Lotion. I have not shut up about this product. I have mentioned it a lot of times. And I will link in the description um, when I went into depth about this one. But I finally used it up. So I guess I will shut up about it for a while. But it's just one of the most moisturizing, plumping toner or lotions that I have ever used. And it's such a good value buy as well. So definitely check the video out that I mentioned that. Also another one that I am so close to finishing up is the Muji Clear Care Light Toning Water in High Moisture. Again, I talked about this in depth in my Muji skincare video. Back then I was just like, oh, I don't know if I like it more than the regular one. I do think I like this one more than the regular one for sensitive skin. This one is actually to help with skin texture and stuff. I do feel like it helps just like smooth out your skin. I can't say the whole anti-breakout kind of business because I am not getting that many breakouts recently thank heavens although i do definitely have a nice little baby coming on here but i really did like this one i love the fragrance and again please check out the muji skincare video because 
because I have gone into depth with this guy. Next is an ampule. It is the Pure Heal Centella 90 ampule. So this one contains 90% Centella Asiatica extract, which is healing and soothing. Um, a nice serum for people who have even sensitive skin. It does include amazing ingredients like aloe leaf water, niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, adenosine, squalane, soybean ferment, propolis, like so many wonderful, nice nutrient full ingredients. And it also does have ceramide 3, which helps strengthen your skin barrier as well. It is quite a watery texture when you look at it, but it is quite viscous, but it does a glide across the skin and it absorbs really easily as well. I think it's extremely hydrating and really easy to layer with other products. Like it literally doesn't matter whether you lay it with like a cream or an oil or any other skincare. It doesn't peel or it doesn't feel funny on the skin. It just absorbs in and hydrates your skin. It is said to cool and reduce redness for those people who do get redness and kind of inflammation on their skin so I do think it'll be a really good one for people who do have sensitive skin and who are breakout prone and it'll help kind of calm those breakouts and like the irritation on your skin it is EWG green certified so it uses really safe ingredients and it also is cruelty free probably one of my favorite hydrating toners which have the benefits of replenishing your skin as well as helping with irritation and strengthening your skin so I do think it is a really really good serum it's just a really easy one to combine into your current skincare routine the etude house soon jung seeker balm so again seeker balm includes centella asiatica which helps repair and soothe skin from irritation and damage so it is definitely the whole soon jung range is made for people with um, sensitive skin or skin that is prone to damage and irritation it does use the Centella Asiatica to repair and then Panthenol to moisturize. It is hypoallergenic and a slightly acidic pH, which is good. It is a balm, so you would think it's quite thick, but it is still fairly lightweight and it does kind of um, warm up on the skin really easily and spread easily on the skin as well. It feels like it seals in all the goodness of all the skincare that you applied before. It is moisturizing, but I wouldn't say it is the most rich and moisturizing balm. So if you do have quite dry skin or like flaky dry skin it may not be enough moisture for you it might be better for people who have more like normal to combination skin the only thing is i have found that it can like foam up sometimes which might not be like the right term or like peel but in a more like foamy way it's kind of like when you're washing your face and like a very non-foamy face wash like starts to foam up i don't know that can happen sometimes and i think it just depends on what products i layered prior it does go away if you rub it in but i felt like it was kind of like strange that it did that and then sometimes it feels like it leaves a bit of a layer like a film on your skin like it's not quite absorbing all the way into your skin I mean, it might be the purpose of it like it's supposed to be a protectant and it's more sitting on top of your skin but because of that i feel like it doesn't kind of like deeply moisturize but more so just like give you a light moisture and help protect your skin from the outside generally for the price it's a really good seeker balm but probably not my favorite i do have other seeker balms that i would use over this one and lastly the dhc medicated lip cream this is super super popular in japan probably one of the best selling lip balms i have got this in a adorable star wars packaging and i'm kind of bummed that i have used it up because now i have no use for this but it's so freaking cute it is my mum's holy grail like my mum can't use any other lip balm than this dhc one and whenever she goes to japan she always like bulk buys a ton it is a really nice rich moisturizing lip balm it's quite a thick texture it's quite like a vaseline -y, and it does smell a little bit like vaseline -y as well it is nice and thin so it's really easy to apply but for me it doesn't last as long and doesn't leave my lips feeling as moisturized as my Nivea Deep Moisture, my Holy Grail, and has been for a long time now. I've got one here. <laughs> this one, this is my Holy Grail, and I find the Nivea one is like a thinner texture, and it feels thinner on your lips, but it's quite glossy, and that moisture lasts a really long time, and it leaves your lips feeling like 
plump and moisturized even after the balm wears off whereas this one i find it's quite thick so it can be a little bit like meh, like mucky mucky i don't know if that's the right word but like a little bit meh sometimes it doesn't leave my lips feeling as moisturized unfortunately for me but i know so many people swear by this my mom cannot use anything other than this so i think it's still a really good one and they do so many cute designs and collaborations definitely think it's worth a try and it might be your holy grail even if it's not mine and that's actually it for this one you guys i feel like it's actually been a moment since i did like a sit down talk video so i might have blabbed a really bit but that but i did want to say thank you for 15k subscribers you guys have finally hit the 15 which is awesome and i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye 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 bye bye, bye.